Good morning. It's May 20th, Monday morning. Yesterday was beautiful in the Hudson Valley. Had an amazing thunderstorm. Now it's muggy and yucky and stormy again. <laughs> Uh, but light language is coming through. I think there's messages for us today. What is the message we have for this morning? The being that uh, we channel through always asks, so what's the message? What is the message? This full moon that we just experienced has brought through an impressive portal of energy. You know, if you are listening to this channel, that there is tremendous energies afoot, both coming from the sun, the interior of Gaia, and the reflection through the moon. The lunar energies, the lunar attraction is uh, as well imposing its will upon humanity. Now these magnetic light induced changes vibrational changes are physical changes to your body. So what happens when, you know, these things happen? Uh, you can experience it in multiple ways. You can experience tremendous fatigue, tremendous um, melancholy. Uh, also to remember any vibrational thoughts you may still hold within you that do not uh, do not coincide with the escalating vibrations those vibrational thoughts emotions situations fears dissatisfactions traumas those are all going to uh, sift up to the surface they are going to show their faces and you have to deal with them you must deal with them there is no other alternative because they simply do not they do not they do not exist they do not exist within the new frequency so we have spoken many times about doing inner work inner work inner work this is the hard part the hard part is taking a long hard deep look within yourself all those little traumas that happened when you were a child and even though you are a mature adult now they still have a hook a hold an anchor within your psyche somewhere these things must be looked at dear ones all these traumas must be looked at. 
let us say uh, when you were a child you were shamed for doing something because of the belief system that your family held. Something that you did completely innocently as a child in exploration. Bam! Someone said, that is wrong. Don't do that. How dare you do that? That trauma of a child does not go away. It encapsulates itself, but it remains within you. So, here we are. Ascension is happening. Vibrational increases are happening. And here, buried deep within you, is this encapsulated trauma. But because of the vibrations, the capsule has burst. And this trauma has been set free again. And it comes to the surface of your being. And you say to yourself, where the hell did this come from? Now you know. And it's there in your face because you must look at the situation. You must forgive. Number one, forgive yourself. You did nothing wrong. You were exploring. So all the guilt that you received from this trauma must be shed. Forgive the person or persons that delivered this trauma to you because they didn't know any better. They were under the influence of a belief system that was not love focused. And most of you on this planet were involved in belief systems that were not love focused. So you all received these kinds of traumas. Do not be surprised about this. Do not get upset about these. When you do forgiveness work, you must understand the emotions that are tied to these are only indicators of your lack of spiritual alignment and nothing else. They are not a reflection of guilt. They are not a reflection of innocence. They are not a reflection of anything except your emotional guidance system telling you that that situation was not in alignment with love. That's all the truth is. But we on earth, humanity, have this addiction to emotion. I love this. I love that. Oh, I hate this. I hate that. Oh, look at her. That's horrible. Oh, did you see that? That's gross. Everything is tied to an emotion, 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 emotion. That color is disgusting. It's not disgusting. It's a color. That's what a student told this dear being at one point. It's a color. It's not disgusting. It's a color. We over-emotionalize everything that comes across our plate sometimes. And in true forgiveness work, in the understanding of the emotional nature of separation, and especially understanding how we have been taught to emotionalize every single thing. We have been taught that our emotions confirm everything. And we have been taught that as a falsity. Our emotional guidance system only confirms 
how far away from love we are. There is level upon level upon level of misteachings that are now being unraveled, unstuck, and brought to face. Emotions are a part of the human condition. There is absolutely no doubt about this. But understand your society has over-emotionalized everything. See the trauma, forgive the trauma, release the trauma. Release the emotional attachment to that trauma. Understand that it is past, that it was unnecessary to begin with, that it was a mistake in many aspects of it and release it and let it go. It can no longer stick. Do not lament it. Do not think over it. Do not dram dramatize it. Do not romanticize it. Let it go. And it will happen again and again and again and again. The big ones will come first, then the not so big ones, then the little medium sized ones, then the kind of small ones, then the really minuscule and small ones. Be aware of this, understand it's going to happen and allow it and say to yourself, hmm, look at this memory, the emotional attachment to it says to me that I am definitely not on the right track and that's all that's telling me. There is no sin, there is no fear, so let me forgive this memory. Let me detach all those emotions that traumatized me to begin with. Let me release it. Let me give love to the situation. Let me heal it. Let me give love to that person or persons that were involved in this sadness that I remain with. And please let it go. Please let it go. Blessings to all. I am the one you know is Jesus. I am returning today to deliver a message of love to you. There is no more need to hold on to any sort of fear. There is no more need for this as there is deep and loving times to come. These beautiful loving era, this beautiful loving era that is upon you must be met with purity of heart, must be net, met with clean love, joy, no fear, no hatred. Please, take these lessons to heart. Release your fears and your thoughts. Close off those voices that remind you of tragedy. Close off those voices of tragedy. The ones that come in through, through media. Shut those off. All they are doing are involving you in tragedy that was never meant to cross your path. If tragedy is meant to cross your path, you won't need to watch TV to figure that out. So 
Dear beings, the time is now. The time is now. Move forward. Enjoy the beautiful, peaceful, loving energy. These new increasing energies, while the body will uh, adjust a bit, these energies have only room for love. So let us let the love come through. Let us let the love be your focus, be your joy, be your life's purpose, as indeed it was mine. Blessings and love to everyone. That is all.